And without being technical, it's very uh, like the Indian music. You see, there's no harmony. It's rhythm and melody. Right. And in jazz, so y you say it's not fusion. It's not jazz fusion, but it's hybrid and it's the way you integrate the Indian music. Like I, I think of like Ravi Shankar right. and the you know it was like and the tablas or the sitar. But the way you do it now is maybe different or it's another way to integrate yeah it's not so it's because you have to understand that even before I started working with these groups that had Indian musicians I was still working with concepts of Indian music in just the jazz quartet setting of piano bass and drums whether that was apparent to any, anybody I don't know but a lot of the rhythmic cycles the beat cycles and a lot of the melodies were very much coming from Indian music but the setting was very Western um, you know, the most important thing for me was to avoid uh, exoticism, you know? Because mm -hmm. I don't ever want to feel like I'm selling my culture short, you know? I remember my, when my quartet would play, someone would inevitably come up and say, oh, you should have a tabla player in your band. And I said, would say, why? It, I mean, it sounds complete. It sounds full, you know? And if I'm going to play with a tabla player, I really want to deal not only with the sound of this instrument, but the real concept behind... The, the the study and the lineage and you know the rhythmic concepts and uh, you know as much as I can I mean I consider myself a perpetual student and I'm always working on this stuff but um, so yeah so it's been it's been interesting to find that place and and obviously yeah I hate the word fusion because fusion unfortunately got applied to a lot of things that to me sound very superficial you know and it's a representation of who I am because I'm not you know, it's not like this leg is Indian and this leg is American. It's all kind of stirring around, and I want the, the music to have that same sort of uh, feeling and portrayal as opposed to cut and paste and slap the Indian here and the American there, you know? So. It represents you where, you, like, like you said, someplace where you come from, where you are now. It's right. all, your whole story. Exactly. Your whole Hopefully. <laughs> well, I think so. Uh, I would like you to talk just a bit about your uh, collaborators. There, there are many, but especially um, the pianist uh, VJ uh, Iyer. Yeah. Uh, is also he has uh, Asian roots. Yeah, actually, our roots are very similar. We're both the, of children of South Indian immigrants, and um, yeah, meeting when we first met, we were completely blown away that there was another guy, and not only playing jazz, but actually chasing similar concepts, you know. So, you know, we've been playing duo for, uh, we d always forget, it's either 14 years or 15 years now. It's been a very long time. You um, have CDs with him? Yeah, yeah, definitely, absolutely. And we used to both play in each other's quartets also. And yeah, we learned a lot together from each other, you know. And I think as a pianist, I think he came to the table with more a knowledge of of, of rhythm where I was thinking more about melody and I think um, we were really able to complement each other and still do you know in that way among many other ways so it's been an amazing amazing relationship uh, it's uh, it's very it's wild when I think about it it's very wild and it's still <laughs> going on oh yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah definitely. and you're gonna uh, present uh, the concert here at the jazz festival Montreal Jazz Festival yeah. uh, it is the uh, Endopack, do I say it well? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a CD released too, and I think from that. And Definitely. Okay. And it's a trio, and you're uh, working with the. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just looking on my papers. Oh yeah, it is uh, the guitar, the guitarist Rez Abbasi. Abbasi. Yeah. Abbasi, and tabla player <laughs> is Dan White. Dan White, which is he's not from India, though. Well, and it's I so hard to play tabla. I know it's not easy. It's it's a long. Long Definitely, and Dan is one of the most consummate musicians I know. I mean, I think, I think that that if he's not considered, he should be considered one of the best tabla players in North America. I mean, he's really fabulous. He's the the star student of Samir Chatterjee, who's kind of a legendary tabla player who lives and teaches in the New York area. Um, and uh, you know, Dan actually goes and and plays concerts with classical Indian musicians. It's not like um, it's not like a drummer who dabbles in tabla, you know, and he practices 10 or 12 hours a day. I'm sure he's in the hotel room right now practicing. I mean, that's... It's very demanding. Yeah, yeah, he's very dedicated, and it's, it's, it's really wild. 
And Rez is Pakistani American, which is why it's Indo Pak, you know. So, so the people who come to see the show uh, at the Montreal Festival tonight, I mean, it's Thursday, we're Thursday, sorry, July 9th, and it's that uh, La Salle is named Jesus. Right. Yeah, Jesus Center, Creativity Center. And I welcome people to watch this. S I'm sure it's going to be something great and very special. So yeah. Thank thanks you. again it was a to be with to us. Thank you. For same. Thank you. Cool. Great.